Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, any doubts till uh, start the class? So, everything, if everything is fine, then we will go for the master data. Okay. So, today class is master data. Okay. So, every every area, every modules, we have the uh, master data. Okay. What do you mean by master data? So before going to master data, I have to tell that well, uh, what are the different types of data we have. OK, so in the SAP system, we have the three types of the data. Three types of data. One is master data. Okay. Can you share and the second one is transaction data. OK, so can you share? Okay, now you are able to see. Yeah, we are able to see. Okay, now. so we have three types of data. One is master data, one is transactional data, one is configuration data. Okay. So, what what is the difference between the these three configuration data, transactional data, and uh, master data? So master data is nothing but like a okay. Uh, this is the master data will be created one time. Uh, for each and every article or it may be for each and every vendor or it may be each and every customer. So we will be creating a one time record. OK, this this record will be helpful to process for the transactions. That means to create a PO. OK, if I if I have the uh, material material number, which is like I have a refrigerator. So I have the one code for refrigerator. Again, I have the mobile for mobile. Again, I have the one material number. OK, again, I have a fan, so I have a one number for that. So at initial stage, what I will do, I will create one master data for the each and every article or each and every uh, vendor. OK, so this master record will be helpful uh, to understand the what type of the material and how you are measuring that and what are the parameters which is match. It should be matched like suppose I have a T-shirt. OK, this T-shirt again, I have the one code. This code is represented that OK, this is red color, 42 size with color, OK, and uh, with buttons, without buttons, and with a sleeve, without sleeve. So, like different, different characteristics. So, we will maintain at one time that record, OK, and in future, if you want to order this product, OK, I will get the information, basic information from the middle master record, then I will be ordered for that product to the vendor. OK, so it is a one time record which we are maintaining for each article or each uh, vendor or each customer. OK, there are so many master records are there. OK, that will be helpful to the, do the regular transactions like purchase orders, goods received, invoices, sales orders, production orders. OK, so those we call as a master data. When I'm just talking about the transactional data, OK, transactional data is nothing but like it will be changed for the each and every document like suppose could I have created PO number one? Okay, then again, when I create a PO two, that was again different data. PO three, it is different data. So this is a live live uh, business process we are do doing in the transactional data. Okay, live transactions we are doing in the transactional data. And when I coming to the configuration data, okay, this configuration data is the uh, the consultant will do the design or configuring that uh, what client required. That means. To do the master data, to do the transaction data, whatever which we required in the back end, that we will do in the configuration data level. Okay. Clear? So, as a consultant, as a consultant, we will be more focusing on the configuration. Okay. As if, and this master data will be taken care of by MDM team, master data team. OK, and uh, this transactional data will be taken care by uh, regular end users. OK. So if you create a patch orders, if you create the GR, if you create the sales order, all it will be come under the transactional data. OK, it will like a re regular uh, business transactions. All this called transactional data and these are the master records, material master record. And the vendor master record. 
and we have like that. Okay, these are all we call the master data. And to do these two, whatever we are supporting in the back end, okay, whatever we designing, we are configuring, okay, whatever it is required, that will be called as the configuration data. Okay, now we are majorly focusing on the configuration data, but also you should know about the each transaction data and master data. Why? Because if you if you need to be implement, okay. Uh, this process you should know you should ever right if you want to configure the this process you should ever about that what are the master data we have whatever the account transaction data you have right so these are the three data so any doubts on this one no sir Okay. Okay. Now, now go to this one. Now we are talking about the master data. So I think we, uh, what are the master data we have? Let's uh, discuss in a metal master record. What are the master data we have in MM? Okay. I'm, I'm talking about MM, but every module have the, their own master data. Okay. And when I'm just talking about the metal master record, so metal management, what are the master data we have? We have metal master record. And we have the vendor master record. And we have the purchasing info record. We have the source list. Okay. And we have the condition record. And we have the uh, code arrangement. Okay. So these are the master data we have in SAP MM okay and uh, majorly we are uh, majorly concentrating on the this four okay even it is also condition record also it's important but uh, code arrangement it is very rare okay most of the people they will not use this code arrangement okay only some cases might be in the old uh, company clients they are using but now nowadays no one not using code arrangement okay so let's go to understand that what is the metal master record. Can, can you give me anyone uh, what is the metal master record? Details of the product. Master record. Sorry. Yes. Details of the pro product. Yeah, product uh, information. Okay. You can say product information, product or material. Or article. Okay. So different industries they will call they are calling different ways. Okay. So material and article and product all it is the same. Okay. So article article is a majorly we are using in the retail industry. Uh, in the retail industry, they will call as an article. So each article they are called. But in the material, material number is like a, we are generally calling like in the manufacturing industry all. We generally calling like product and manufacture material. Okay, so the complete information of whatever the basic information, the basic information of product or material or article to run the transaction, to run the transaction at MM level or PP level. Or ST level, or uh, QM level, or warehouse level, or uh, finance level. So each and every area, we we may we need some basic information, right? Maybe not at a high level. At least the basic information we require. If, suppose I need to sell the uh, good. Suppose I have the material number, okay, phone, iPhone, okay iPhone, I have iPhone X. Okay. Now, I'm just talking about the MM. Okay. My procurement. And when I'm purchasing these goods, the basic level I'm talking about, when I'm purchasing the goods from the vendor, how you will be ordering to the vendor? So the order unit will be different, right? Order unit will be not pieces. Okay. Like it may be set. Set, set is equal to 10 pieces. So I cannot order simply one piece. Of, 
boss i need one piece i need two piece why because you also running the business and he also running the business so he can he can give has a wholesale minimum one set or two sets or three sets means has a retailer or has a wholesaler you can get minimum of 10 pieces so the minimum order unit is just set here okay when i just suppose when i just to same mobile okay if i'm selling to a customer okay that means sales unit okay if i say that boss i will i will not uh, sell the goods individual pieces i will sell only lump sum then the customer is asking that no no i need the pieces then obviously the, it will be changed right the sales it is a one each you can put like one each okay so in this case one each is equal to one piece so that means uh, each and every area level the basic level of information for the material will be different okay again now if we're talking about the when i'm purchasing when i'm just taking care about the purchasing okay buyer group will be different and when i'm talking about the sales sales represent will, will be different sales represent or sales group will be different so some of the basic information we can maintain at basic data level it is not necessary every time you need to be maintained in the sales order every time you need to be maintained in the, uh, the outbound delivery or at least every time you need to be maintained in the purchase order so we will be maintaining at one time for each area level the basic information the high level whatever the frequently change the data that we are maintaining at the purchase order level clear so in the metal master record it is not only the basic information of the material it is also at each area level what basic information is it is required the, those data information also will be maintained in the master data suppose uh, like if i have the tolerances okay for this product okay if i get the product from the vendors 10% of tolerance is okay okay if i get the two pieces extra okay i can adjust if i get the one piece extra i can adjust so how, till how much you can adjust that okay that tolerance is also you can maintain and if if there is any shipping instructions are there when you buying from the vendors you are asking that these are the very sensitive product you should pack with the, uh, some you have to follow the some shipping instruction so those are the basic information for the at the material like material level so those information you can directly capture from the master data and will be putting into the automatically in the purchase order level so uh, every time I, I don't need to be mentioned in the purchase order level boss you need to be maintained the shipping instructions so you can get it from the master data to directly to purchase order so those information we are maintaining in the master data whatever it is a one time uh, records those we can maintain in the metal master record okay so you will be understand this deeply when we are creating the metal master record what are the fields what are that uh, data we can maintain that you will be understand is it clear metal master record so when you are talking about metal master record it is not only met, uh, purchasing area purchasing data at, okay it's also sales data is there accounting data is there store location location data is there okay again we have quality management related data is there and parameter quality parameters what quality parameters you need to match you. and again what are the characteristics which is maintaining like uh, color size grades and length weight okay all we can maintain in the metal master record that is a this when i just talking about this product okay this product information can get in the metal master record clear are you clear what is the metal master record uh, no sir no yes sir no okay one minute give me one example i will take that example any product you take one example i will tell you what is the uh, how we can go ahead for that give me one example of product or material you can take uh, 
any product any material samsung phone sorry mobile phone okay samsung mobile phone yeah okay now what is the basic information of this that means it it won't be changed okay, every time okay and uh, we will be using this information for the transaction that means we will be using this reference as a transaction okay once you are entering the suppose let's say once you are entering that okay mobile shop okay when you just checking that mobile samsung mobile okay let's say i have model number model number which is like m31 okay and this is my model number now what is the frequently changed uh, information what is the fixed information will be there for this mobile some chips and all inside first one is description when i just created the uh, code samsung m20 m31 means i have some description right okay this hmm. is the samsung okay um, mobile samsung led uh, m31 okay uh, maybe 128 gb uh, this is parameter you can leave it m31 model with something like a uh, uh, flash flash or uh, front cam so this is the my description so this will not be changed right yeah okay this will not be changed now how you will be measuring how you will be measuring this product how you are measuring by length and all for each piece for each one for one piece like right? so yeah, yeah. i use base unit of measure base unit of measure so it is like a each it's like each or maybe it is a piece it is happening okay so i can i can measure has a each or i can measure has a pieces right so let's take yeah. each okay so this information will not be changed right the base yeah. unit of measure how you are measuring that if you suppose the customer is asking that okay boss i need 10 pieces i need 20 pieces okay so if you are somebody is asking that how much quantity we have i have the 20 pieces of this samsung 30 mm 31 model okay this was a basic base unit of measure how you are measuring the information that will not be changed right right yes sir now when i am just talking about a metal group okay what kind of the group this one this material what kind of the group it is related so it is related to electronics or mobiles right so this is this is a group of the materials all together we are maintaining as a electronics or i can maintain as a mobiles it's completely coming to the mobile group so this, this will not be changed right yes sir okay so some base some data okay either it may be base information or it may be purchasing related suppose again when i'm just talking about a purchase purchasing okay in your company suppose uh, purchasing group purchasing group okay rajesh rakesh is taking care okay so that means in your in your company when i'm just talking about the samsung led m31 model okay the rakes will be taking care about that so this will not be changed right he will be taking care about this product so he will be purchasing the goods from the outside so he is the main contact person for the purchasing so i can fix that part right why because this is organization data i can ma maintain so the i just when i just introduced the product okay boss rakesh just take care about this product whenever you want to buy product you just whenever we require a product just take care about the prices and everything you just buy from the outside so the purchasing group all information also it will, it will, it will not change correct yes sir okay so when i am just talking about purchasing okay again if i talk about the store location okay yeah. store location information okay so these mobiles always i am putting in the 
uh, finish the course, store location. The finish course location. So that means whenever I'm receiving these products, I will be keep these goods every time in the finished goods location. It's not raw material, it is a finished goods. Just like putting into the finished goods location. So that location also I can fix it, right? Yeah. Okay. So these are the, some information like, again, if you're talking about a, a standard price, the price of the product, which okay, standard price, right? Suppose I just say that uh, standard price it is like uh, 20,000 rupees or 19,000 rupees. Okay, this will not be changed, right? So I can mm -hmm. okay, like some information, the basic information. Okay, so maybe vendor vendor will be changed, or maybe customer will be changed, or maybe production will be changed. But this some information will be maintained, always fixed, one time data. So these are we are taking reference, right? Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes, sir. What is it? Yes, Sunil. Uh, I'm getting calls, Sunil. Did you trying to call again? Sunil, okay. Are you trying to call me? No, no, no sir, no. No, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So do you, now you understand, right? What is the information which is related to accounting? So the standard price will be related to accounting, and our store location will it will be related to plant and location, and the purchasing group which is related to purchasing. Okay. When I'm just buying this product for the particular plant then maybe Rakesh will be responsibility. When it is a different plan, maybe different person will be responsibility. <coughs> okay, so like we can maintain some information in the master data. Those are will not be changed every time. Okay, these are will be, maybe it will be changed or, or randomly. It may be after ten, uh, one year or 15 days or 20 days, 30 days. It might be changed, but not it will be changed at every transaction level. Mm -hmm. So every transaction level, what it will be changed? What information will be changed? Transaction level might be how much quantity you are ordering. So today my requirement is 10 pieces. Tomorrow it is 12 pieces. Again, 13 pieces. OK, so that is a transaction data. Means how much order quantity you need to be put, that will be changed. Again, delivery date. So if I order today, might be my requirement is tomorrow I need to get, or day after tomorrow I need to get. So the delivery date will be changed. Right, and right. So those are uh, some information. It will be changed re regularly, but this information will not change every time. This will be changed only randomly. If it is uh, suppose today it is nineteen thousand rupees, maybe after one week the price is less. Less again, I will be changed to seventeen thousand. So those cases it might be different. Then I can update, but it's not regularly changing the price. So those information we can maintain in the master data. So when I'm whenever I'm creating purchase order, I will be take the, all the information from the master data, and I will be maintaining the I will mention in the PO. Then I can put like, put uh, how much quantity I need, when I need. Okay, who will be the plan? Okay, when I it is required. Those information, the basic information, uh, that regular transaction information, I will put. Clear. Yes, sir. If you still need one more example, I can give. Yes, sir, can you give one more example? Okay. Suppose, yeah. suppose, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have the location. Okay, I have the plan. Okay, suppose your your home is there. If I go okay. to your order number, I just mm -hmm. scan your order number. I just scan your order number. Can I get yes. your details or not? Yes, sir. Okay. So that is a one time record. So we just maintaining that record. Might be you frequently after maybe five years, six years, maybe your address will be changed. Then you are changing again, but mm -hmm. it is not regularly changing. Yeah. Right? Yes, so sir. these materials also like, okay, at, at one time we are maintaining the basic information. Okay, that information we are using that. Okay, tomorrow if you go to SBI bank, 
Okay, I just want to open the account today. So immediately they will ask that you give me your order card number. When I just scan that order card number and uh, term impression, then immediately I, get, I will get that. Okay, boss, your name, your address, your phone number, all these details will come. Yes, sir. Right. So yes, sir. like uh, every time, why I should why, why I should enter this all this basic information at PO level. So I'm just keeping all this in the one master record. When I whenever I just need, I will take that reference number as a material number, like other number. I just take the material number. Just, when I enter the material number, okay, okay, this material number has the this material description. This, this material has the this basin top measure. Okay, this material has the this material group. Okay, this material has the this purchasing unit, order unit. All the conversions, all it will come. Okay, clear. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So, like uh, we have the vendor master record also. When I'm talking about the, this is a material related information. And uh, now, when I'm talking about the vendor master data, okay, it is a supplier information. So, the regular vendor is a suppose uh, my heritage showroom, heritage foods, okay, he is a my regular vendor. So, I should have the, some information of the heritage foods. What information I should have? Those are the not changed. What are the information will not be changed? From which vendor we are getting? Sorry? From the vendor information, like address from where address, we are getting. Yeah, obviously address will not change. Phone number will not change. Fax number will not change. Company will not name. Change. GST number. Yeah. Sales registration number, right? Bank yes. information. Bank information also will not change, right? I can yes, get sir. the bank information, right? Mm -hmm. Payment mode. Payment mode is nothing but like I will be pay cash uh, or bank transfer or maybe Google yeah. Pay or something online transactions like that, right? And yes. again, currency. He is a local vendor, then we'll be maintain the local currency. So how you're paying the amount? The INR or USD, AID or something different, different currencies are there. Again, terms and conditions, payment terms. Okay, payment terms is nothing but like a, he's happy, but he's saying that you need to pay, pay immediately when I, you get the stock. So this, there were some payment terms from the vendor. Okay, so like some basic information we are maintaining in the vendor master card. So those are will not be changed. Only regular transactions. Okay, whatever the regular transaction like might be the price, today price will be different, maybe tomorrow it will be different. So those cases might be we have to regularly maintain, but even that also will not be changed. So what information will be changed? When the master alert, when the master card about the product, I mean sometimes we need product quantity, is my product. Product quantity. is my product. It won't be changed. Quantity. Quantity is okay. You are ordering quantity. How much you are ordering you to a vendor? Okay, that will be changed. Yeah. Right. When yes. delivery date. So yeah. suppose you are requesting today, might be vendor, uh, he will be checked that, okay, no boss, so you have to be planned at least two days before I cannot supply yes. now. So yes. there was a plan delivery time will be different, right? Yes. So those cases will be different, but uh, uh, the basic information, all it will be same, will be maintained at one time. So when I just enter the vendor code, then all the address details, all the uh, options like bank information, all this information will be captured. Based on the transactions, it will, if it is related mm -hmm. to finance, then banking information, bank account and everything, it will be captured. If it is purchasing related, what are the currency, what is the payment terms, okay, what are the terms and conditions, what is the shipping instruction, who will be the uh, representative, that means who can, who I can contact from the vendor side, who will be representative, Sales representative from their side. Okay, if there is any partners there, what are the partners there for this vendor? So those information I can capture automatically. Clear? Yes, sir. It's clear. Minimum yes, master card and minimum master card. Yes, sir. Okay, now coming to purchasing info card. So purchasing info card is nothing but like a material and vendor combination. Okay. Combination we are maintaining the info record. So why I should maintain this one? 
metal and under combination. Why should maintain purchase in for card? Suppose, suppose I have the material number iPhone X. Okay, iPhone X. Let's take our same example, iPhone X. Okay, now I'm getting this from Samsung store. Okay, and I'm getting the same product from a Reliance Digital, and same product I'm getting from Amazon. Okay, if I'm getting same product from the Pi, okay, if I'm getting same product from Bajaj Electronics. Okay, now the product is same, but the vendors are different. Different. Okay, so now when I buying the uh, this iPhone from Sam Samsung store, he he said that okay, boss, when I'm just buying from my side. OK, this price is 20,000 rupees. OK, when I'm just buying from the Reliance Digital. Okay, this price will be the 9,900 rupees. Okay. When I'm just talking about Amazon, OK, again Amazon will be the 21,000 rupees. OK, again from Bajaj Electronics. Like it is to, uh, it is like some 19,000 rupees. Okay, so that means the same product when I'm buying from the different different uh, vendors. Okay, the information of the price will be different. It's not only uh, it's not only the price. Okay, there may be payment terms conditions are different. Tax information will be different. Okay, and shipping instructions are different. Okay, mode of payments are different. Everything will be different for the these two combination. Not mode of payment. Okay, uh, when we are talking about the shipping related or uh, uh, buyer group, okay, especially suppose in my location, Samsung stores will be handling by myself and Reliance Digital store handling by someone. So the buyer group also will be changed, right? So when there is the two combinations, okay, when there is the two combinations, the the information will be changed, okay? So here. I am especially uh, discussing about a middle master record. I'm especially discussing about the vendor master record. Okay, so that is the individual record information. But here, if you're talking about purchasing for card, this is the combination of two. Okay, and again, if you see that this same material number from the same vendor, this material number and vendor, if I just go to uh, Delhi plant, okay, Delhi plant, then he said that. This 20,000 20, rupees. Okay, but if it is go to Hyderabad, then he say that it is 19,000 rupees. And if I go to Chennai, same vendor, okay, it may be 18,000 rupees. So even though different different plants are different different organization, purchase organization level, the price will be different. Why? Because when I just talking about a Delhi plant, might be it is near to uh, Samsung store manufacturing location. Might be they are giving to the less cost because their labor cost will be diff less, or packing cost will be diff less. Or it may be so many other 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 factors also they will be considered. Inter uh, maybe in state state tax everything they will be considered. And they will say that okay, it's twenty thousand rupees. But when I just talking about this Hyderabad, okay, this will be again change. Okay, so those cases also it will be different. Okay, sometimes it will be same, or sometimes it will be different. Okay, so those cases. Again, I need to be get the information. So when I create a purchase order, suppose I'm creating purchase order. OK, I just entered this vendor and I just entered the material number. If I don't know this information, OK, even I just maintain here, even I just maintain here uh, standard price in the metal master record. Let's say if I maintain in the standard price in the metal master record, even I just maintain. But when I'm buying from the vendor, there might be different price. Right. It is not like boss. I maintain 20,000 rupees in my location. Okay, you cannot uh, skip that. You have to give that 20,000 rupees. They will not accept, right? It's my price. When the, when he is supplying, he will be selling that his own price. It's not like that. Uh, what MRP price or maybe they, he can add some discount or he can add some labor charges. Okay, they will tell you. Okay, it's, it's my price, boss. If you want, you can buy or, or else you can leave it. Right. 
So when the combination between the supplier and material also the prices will be different. The information also will be different. So those cases will, will be maintaining this purchasing info card. Clear? Is that clear? Yes, sir. OK, so. What information we are maintaining that will be uh, when you just try when you are doing into SAP will be understand. OK, but this is just I'm giving the example of price. But it's not only price, shipping instructions will be changed and the sales represent will be changed and buyer group will be changed. Again, uh, in court terms, in court terms is nothing but like a, uh, how you will get that. Maybe the price charges will be handling by uh, our company. Uh, the price charges will be taken care by supplier or the price charges and labor charges all to be included in the terms and conditions. Everything it will be changed when the product will be different. Is that clear? If you want, I can give one more example. Simple yeah, it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear, right? Everyone is fine. Everyone clear, right? Sir, try to give one more example. Okay. Simple one. Okay. Suppose uh, if mm -hmm. you go to uh, Reliance Digital, let's say if you go to the nearest to Reliance Digital. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm just buying the product like mobile. Okay, so mobile is a smart product. So he will be asking that okay, uh, home delivery. If you're asking home delivery, he said that boss, this is a small quantity. I cannot, uh, I cannot deliver. Okay, if you want to deliver, I can deliver. Okay, but it is free of cost delivery. Why? Because I don't want to be depend on some any uh, labor. I don't want to be depends on the any transportation. But if you order some refrigerator or TV television. Boss, definitely I need to reach labor. I need to transport everything, right? So those cases again, again, the product to product, the cost will be different. The product to product again, the charges will be different. If I just buy mobile, they are not charging any delivery cost. But when I'm just buying refrigerator, they are charging additional charge, additional cost for the freight, right? So the same vendor, the same vendor, when I'm just buying the multiple products. The information will be different. So same kind of year purchase info card is nothing but like a, the combination of individual material number, individual vendor. These two combination, what is the data which is required that we are maintaining? Like suppose mobile and Samsung store or mobile and Reliance Digital. What is the information which is required? So he said that there is no delivery cost. Because same, if I just take the refrigerator. Same Reliance Digital, OK? When I just talking about that, he said labor charges will be applicable and transport charges will be applicable. Shipping instruction will be applicable, OK? This is the glass item. OK, you, you should be take care. I, I will not be take care. So all these information, so all terms and conditions, all it will be there. So data to data also it will be changed. That means material to materials also, the same vendor, it will be different. Clear? Yes, sir. OK, so basically what you need to understand here, purchasing for a card is nothing but like a individual material, individual vendor combination. What is the data information which is required for purchasing? OK. Yes. Clear? Yes, sir. OK, now. Now coming to source list. What do you mean by source list? Source list, it is like a source. I, I think I already informed earlier. What do you mean by source? Source, where are you getting? Where are you getting? Source is nothing but like where are you getting, right? Exactly where are you getting that. So source is nothing but like a supplier list. List. That means I should have the I should maintain the records. What are the suppliers we have for this product, this plant? That information will be there in the source list. So what are the difference between the vendor master and the source list? Both are the same or vendor master is the individual record, right? So oh. there is no material information there. It is just like we are talking about the only supplier supplier information. But here source list is the for one for one material for the material who will be the list of the suppliers. Suppose if we same example. 
for this product, iPhone X. Who are the suppliers? Who are the suppliers for the iPhone X? Samsung store. Samsung store. Reliance 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 Reliance
the confidence from you or any. Are you clear or are you still you have doubt? No, 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 we are clear. Clear, right? Everyone? Yeah, yeah. Can I consider everyone understand the process? Master data. OK, now coming to the condition records. What do you mean by condition records? What do you mean by condition records? Considering some conditions of the vendor or the material types. Sorry, you are coming in. Mentioning some conditions to the vendor or the supplier. Not like okay, uh, not condition. Condition is different. Okay, here we just talking about it. when it is talking about condition, we especially talking about price conditions, not terms and conditions. Price conditions. <clears throat> Suppose what will be happen? Uh, the vendor, the vendor is said that okay. Uh, by August 15th, the prices are increasing for each and every product 10 rupees. So I'm getting the 10 lakhs products from the uh, this vendor. Suppose I'm getting, suppose let's say Samsung store. Samsung store, he's supplying 10 lakhs products, different, different products every time to my location. Okay, now he's saying that boss, from the next week onwards, okay, the prices are uh, changing. So each and every product price I just uh, giving this list. OK, so please maintain the new list in the new new price list. For the products. OK, so 10 lakhs products if you want to maintain how it is difficult. Uh, if I want to change the price for the 10 lakhs products, how it is very difficult. It's very difficult, right, to change. Is it, it's very easy or it is difficult to change the 10 lakhs products. It's difficult. It's difficult or easy? Difficult to change the other. Yeah, so difficult to change. So what we can do, we can use the condition records. OK, so instead of I'm going to purchasing info record, the top I just informed, right? In the purchase info card, we are maintaining the combination of the prices, everything, right? The material and co vendor combination, we are maintaining the price, right? So instead of I'm just going to the manually purchasing for card, changing the price and saving that. So instead of we are doing that, we can do directly maintaining the price condition record. So at a time, I can do that, okay, multiple vendors by using the programs. I can do that, okay, at a time, okay, these are the material list, I can change the price. Okay, so the price conditions is nothing but like a yeah, when there is a prices or when there is a conditions are different, okay, we'll be maintaining condition records and we'll change the prices directly in the condition records, not at the purchase for card level. So it is a one example condition record. So in the again, HD side they have the own condition records and MM side we have the own conditions like flight charges. So suppose till today he uh, the person is saying that for each product 100 rupees. Suddenly they said that tomorrow onwards. For each product, it is 120 rupees. So again, I need to be changed the freight cost for this vendor. Freight cost of this vendor is I need to change for this all materials. Again, I need to maintain the, all the freight charges. So then again, I can go to a condition record. I can maintain at a time. So when I just maintain this condition records, okay, it is very simple to change instead of I'm going to the purchasing info card manually. <coughs> Clear? Are you clear about it? So condition records majorly we are using for the to change the price for the combinations. So either it might be freight or labor charges, or it might be uh, base price of the material, or it may be standard price, whatever it may be. We just uh, using this condition records for the updating the prices. It may be gold rate. So every day gold rate it is changing. Then tomorrow every morning I just open the condition records and just changing the price. Instead of I'm going to the purchase info card, I'm updating that. I can go directly change the condition record. Clear? Is that clear? Yeah, it's clear. Okay. And now the last one is okay. We have one more also. I forgot that. Service master record. Okay. So general metal master card and service master card. So these are the articles, materials, and these are the services. 
so service related if suppose uh, generally what what type of the services will be maintained generally what information will be maintained in the service master card what type of the service right what type of the service what activity you are doing for this service how you are measuring that one each block block wise or it is a each activity how you are measuring that okay activity unit like you are measuring that okay and if there is any length and width and something which is there we will be maintaining the service master record so it's a similar to the metal master record but service master record is just especially we are maintaining for the services okay and what is the quota arrangement what is the quota arrangement dividing the quotas simple dividing the quotas then we have multiple vendors <coughs> dividing quotas okay so what do you mean by the quota dividing the quota is nothing but like suppose i have the 1 lakh uh, requirement okay i have 1 lakh product i need okay so i just uh, searching for my regular vendors so no one uh, can supply 1 lakh products no one can supply 1 lakh products so that case what we will do okay boss okay i have the different multiple vendors i'm just uh, giving that quotas like okay 50% of uh, product vendor a is supplying 30% of vendor b is supplying 20% vendor c is supplying okay again there may be rank 1 rank 2 rank 3 so we have the multiple vendors i <coughs> when vendor a cannot be supplied then i can go to vendor b okay so like we are arranging that quotas okay so this this case we are not majorly using okay we are not using this process Uh, in my 13 years 14 years experience i didn't see anywhere the quota say they are using okay this is not much important okay if you want to understand what is the quota arrangement just understand the quota arrangement okay just we are dividing the quotas for multiple vendors clear clear yes sir so these are the master data in my mom side okay may these are the seven master records we have So, in interview point of view, if they are asking about that, boss, give me, let's uh, uh, tell me about that. Uh, what is the, okay, what are the master data we have in SAP in MM related? Then you can say metal master record, vendor master record, purchase info record, source list, condition records, quota arrangement, service master record, like you can say. Okay, clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the master data. Send it out. So by using this master data only, we are performing the transactions. If you don't have master data, it's very difficult to run the transaction. Okay. If I enter the material number, the system will ask that what type of the material it is, it is what is the material description, what how you how I need to measure. Okay, what is the metal group for this? Okay, what is the order unit? What is the terms and conditions? What is the shipping instructions? What is the payment term? Everything it will be asked. Okay, if we don't have master data, so all we are fixing. Okay, before going to the ordering, so that information that will be helpful for the master data. Okay, clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so I need out some master data. No doubt, sir. No doubt, sir. Okay. Now, now let's go to the army structure. Organization or enterprise structure. We can say enterprise structure also. Or we generally call the organic structure. So as of now, we had a discussion about the business process, transaction process, transactions, and we discussed about master data. But to do this transaction data and you to do the master data, 
at least you should be have the structure right architecture what is the structure like you what is your organization what is the army structure so how many plants you have how many companies you have how many company courts you have how many store locations you have how many purchase groups are there how many purchase organizations you have those information which is required right so if okay so about before going to this one i just to uh, explain about so these are the mm master data right so if you are talking about the uh, st side okay we have the customer master record okay again uh, they have the uh, customer info info records okay so uh, they have the condition records also okay from the st side when i'm just talking about the pp side we have the bill of material bill of material is nothing but like a for one production that means producing the finished goods what are the components which is required for the raw materials pack materials semi finished goods what are the combination which is required so for let's say one liter of the uh, sugar cane juice how many pieces of raw materials which is required 20 pieces of the sugar sugar cane which is required okay so like like we are maintaining the combinations in the bill of material okay so like uh, we are maintaining in the pp side okay we have routing and we have the work centers that will be for especially for the production planning okay when i'm just talking about the finance side cost centers okay and uh, profit centers gl account master data so these are all come under the finance related okay so i'm just repeat i just uh, giving that other areas also how they will be okay clear yes okay now coming to the earnings statements from the mm side if the interview point of view of they are asking about that mm organization structure okay okay what what we mean uh, mm organization structure okay so we have multiple areas right we have sales uh, departments are there we have finance departments are there we have production department are there like we have the material management department also it is there so especially when we talking about mm so we have the high level is the high level army structure is company code company code is the high level then we have the plans okay then we have the uh, purchasing organizations okay then we have the purchasing group okay so these are the levels we have okay so whenever we are talking about mm material management we are basically talking about the company code okay which company code is, is related okay which plants we have multiple plant hyderabad plant okay vajar plant chennai plant okay so like we have the multiple plants so in this case how many plants we have so plant also one of the organization element in the my mm okay then purchasing organization purchasing organizations is nothing but like a the organization group of the persons are uh, group of persons they will be taking care about a particular art purchasing activity like domestic purchasing so the purchasing organization domestic purchase organization they will be taking care about the, all the domestic related activities okay domestic domestic vendors uh, interactions domestic vendors finding domestic vendors price negotiations all these will be taking care okay and when i just talking about purchasing group purchasing group is the individual person or group of persons they will take care about the particular activity like if i am just creating to the purchase order okay this person or this group of person they will be taking care about the, this purchasing activity so he will be follow up with the vendor when when i will get the stock okay he is sending the reminder mails he is uh, he is kind of like monitoring to that purchase orders so especially the activity will be taken care by purchasing group people okay are you clear so in interview point of view if they are asking about that okay the highest level is the client okay the client is not but like group of the company then company code plan purchase organization purchasing group clear so client you know right already the group of companies which is like we have multiple groups of companies right like we are we discussed yesterday reliance group reliance group have the multiple company codes okay so when we just talking about the one company code 
it is especially only for the one company code that company code how many plants are there how many purchase organizations are there how many purchasing groups are there okay so like we are discussing about that so when i'm just talking about st they have the sales organization okay distribution channels divisions okay sales office so that is the, their organ structure okay again when i'm talking about finance related they have the company code chart of accounts okay proficient account proficient as okay uh, like there are the different different organizations they have controlling areas central controlling areas like they have the different different organizations okay so every area they have the their own organ structure so when i'm just talking about the metal management this is the my structure the high level is the client then company code then plan purchasing organization purchasing group so storage location will not come under the organization element this store location we are maintaining in the plant okay it is a subdivision of the sub part of the plant it's not a separate organization it's not separate organization element okay clear is that clear Yeah, sir. Is that clear or is any doubts? If you are, if you are in the silent, uh, uh, whether I just need to be repeat or whether I need to skip that, no, I no. have to go for next. How I can understand? It's clear. It's clear. No. So can I repeat again? Or it is understand? I understand. Understand, sir. What about others? Understood, sir. I think simple, right? Uh, what do you mean by client? I think we can take the example like if it is a uh, client is not but like a Reliance Group, the high level it is Reliance Group, okay. And the company code again, how the Reliance communication, Reliance Digital. So like I have the one Reliance Digital. This is one company code, okay. Now when I just talking about the plans, okay. So the Reliance Digital again, they have the multiple plants like Hyderabad branch. They are doing for the only uh, depot plant it is. Okay, and again, if I go to Hyderabad, uh, in Hyderabad only we have one more branch which is like uh, for service branch, service area. Okay, if again I just go to Vijag, again Vijag we have one more plant. It is manufacturing. So like we have the different different plants. Okay, and if I go to our particular nation, okay, maybe. It is a it depends on the client requirement. Okay, if suppose in the geo, the mobile will take care of mobile services will take care by one purchasing organization might be uh, digital uh, digital digital services will take care by one more person. Digital services is nothing but like a DTH something. Okay, then internet internet will be taken care by some other person. So I can divide like this one also. Okay, or I can take it like uh, domestic uh, import, interstate, state like that. That different different organizations they will be taking care about the, all the purchasing negotiations, the high level contract negotiations. Okay, like consignment, um, uh, subcontracting, special stock, those uh, price negotiations they will do it. And this purchasing group anyway, it is individual person like Rakesh or the Rajesh. Okay, like or uh, some group of persons, like we can say, like group of person, like if it individually, like in the again uh, mobile store, again the mobile, if it is a uh, below, uh, it's like a, a touch screen, okay, touch screen, with okay, with uh, um, with flash uh, camera. So this will be taken care by Rajesh, and if it is the keypad. Mobiles, keypad, mobiles, basic mobiles will be taken care by someone. Okay, so like we can divide it like this. Okay, so when we are buying, he will be Rakesh will be taking care of about the touch screens. Okay, he will be ordering that what are the raw materials which is required for the, uh, which is like divided like uh, smartphones like we, whatever it is required he will be taking care. Rakesh, Rajesh will be taking care about the all keypads related which is maybe batteries or something which is he will be taking care. So like we can divide it. it depends on the client they can divide how, how they want to be they can divide it okay so we are especially talking about purchasing that's why we we only talking here what it is necessary when we are creating purchase order when we are taking 
uh, creating the info records, when we're creating the GR invoices, what are the basic level organization elements which is required? Those only we are discussing here. So when inter point of view, if they're asking about that high level of the cl client, company code, plan, purchase organization, purchasing group. Clear? Clear? Any doubts? Any doubts? Also. Okay, then. Okay, then. So, any doubts on today class? That will continue tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll discuss about the integration part. So this is the one, one of the important point. Okay, integration where exactly the, how, how it is integrated with material management other areas. So we'll discuss about it tomorrow the integration. I think some persons, people are already they aware about this integration. Okay, but yeah, I will repeat that integration. Right then, guys. Uh, any questions, okay. please. Raise your questions.